students today we are going to study heterochromatin formation so uh, this question was asked recently in november 2020 csr exam so what is heterochromatin it is a very condensed part of the dna where we uh, and why we have to condense this part so the gene it should not be expressed so how we will form this heterochromatin so here what we do the histone protein histone third protein it is first deacetylated and then methylated so we know the chrom uh, chromatin which is active it should be in acetylated condition like right? you we call it as euchromatin so this histone 3 we can see here in the diagram this third stone at the ninth lysine position it was acetylated previously it was in euchromatin condition now if we want to convert it into heterochromatin what we have to do we have to remove this acetyl group okay so now the first step is deacetylation by h tag now h tag is the activity of particular enzyme histone deacetyl acetylase okay so H tag is never an enzyme remember that it is the activity of particular enzyme right so what we have done we have removed this acetyl group you can see at the ninth lysine position the next step is we have to add the methyl group at this particular position now methylation is done by histone methyl transferases SUV 13 H1 okay so you don't have to remember this uh, uh, name just remember methylation by stone methyl transferases now next step what happened you can see here this nice lysine is methylated now this methylated lysine of this stone is recognized by an enzyme which is recognized by sorry recognized by an protein which is called as HP1 protein now we know that uh, any methylated histone it is recognized by chromo domain of a particular protein now this HP1 has a by its chromo domain bind to this methylated lysine right now HP1 has a cooperative activity what is cooperativity here if one molecule comes then the other will follow so in this way many HP1 will come assemble here and heterochromatin formation will occur and the gene will be repressed so you can see once again first step here is deacetylation by H tag then methylation by enzyme HMT then recognition by chromo domain of HP1 then the initiation of heterochromatinization then propagation of heterochromatin by self association of HP1 so you can see the diagram I hope this much is clear thank you so much